Hi, everybody. Okay. Take a look at this door latch. It's from the Shaker community of Pleasant Hill, Kentucky. It was made around 1835. It is functional, but it's very expressive. It's one of those wonderful marriages of utility and beauty. I love the way such a modest object is so powerfully expressive, how it powerfully conveys a whole worldview, that shaker ideal of economy and simplicity. The interesting thing is, all it has to do is keep the door shut. It does more than what it has to do. It's a gift to the people who use it. When something, whether it's an ax or an iPod, does more than what it has to do, more than what we ask of it, something very special happens. An example in my life is this Japanese kitchen knife. It cuts beautifully, but it does more than that. It, is, it has intrinsic expressive qualities. It has heft and it has balance. It's comfortable in the hand. It has a rich tactile experience from that beautiful wooden handle. It's enormously satisfying to use. It's as if the meaning is in it. And when I use it correctly, which happens occasionally, it lifts cutting into a ritual. Okay, I love this. In 1939, a cartographer named Ezra Stiles drew this map of Frick Park in Pittsburgh. It conveys data on at least seven levels. It's a plan of the park. It describes the landscape. It, can, it illustrates resident birds, migratory birds, resident animals. It has two topogra topographic cross-sections of the park. I almost said typographic. It, uh, uh, can, it relates the park to the city. It relate, relates the park to the county. And it shows major park structures. It's more than something that just shows you where the bathroom is. It's a civic celebration. It gives us more than what we could have asked for. Like the door latch and like the knife, it's generous. So when we create something, all of us, whether it's a public space or whether it's a product or whether it's a new curriculum, can we invest them with those qualities that enrich and enliven the life of the user? when the functional rises above itself, when the everyday becomes celebratory, then it makes us more human. Can we learn from the latch and the knife and the map to invest our work with a bountifulness and a kindness that makes that work truly generous? Thank you.